Hey guys, and welcome back to another video here with Angel B Designs. If you are new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Um, so in this in this video, in today's video, I am going to be showing you how I design images in Canva to make on the t-shirt. Um, I did sublimate a t-shirt for my son's baseball team. Basically, it was for me to wear, but it was with like his baseball colors and images and things like that. I put it on Instagram and TikTok and I did get a lot of requests of how to, like a full tutorial of how I designed that image. I did use Canva Pro, strictly Canva Pro, nothing else. Um, so I'm gonna be showing you in this video how, or how much Canva Pro costs monthly versus yearly. I'm also gonna be showing you um, how to design the shirt that I sublimated. It was a couple of weeks ago I made this shirt, but I'm gonna be showing you how I completely designed it from start to finish. That's what we're going to be doing today, guys. So go ahead and stick around for that. Oh, and don't, for, um, don't forget to check the description box. I do have a link if you are interested in trying out Canva Pro. I have a link that allows you to have a 45-day trial. Um, uh, completely free. It's a free 45-day trial for Canva Pro. If you use my link, it will be down in the description box. So definitely make sure you check that out. But go ahead and stick around for that. All right, guys, so I am in Canva Pro. Now, I do want to let you know that I am using the Canva Pro feature. Um, basically, what I do is I do pay for it yearly. So I don't pay for it monthly, but I'm just going to kind of show you the prices here. So you can, um, they do have a free trial option. Okay, let's see. I believe it's 30 days. You're already using... Okay, so it's not going to let me because I already have it, but I do believe the free trial is for 30 days. I do have a link that you guys can use. If you sign up through my link, Um, you do... I think it's 45 days if you sign up through my link. Um, I will leave that down below. Okay, and then like I said, I do pay it for it yearly. So they do have the Canva free version and then this is everything that you get. This is the Canva Pro version, which is the version that I use. And then it's $120 for the year. And like I said, I just pay it for the year. So I make a one-time payment um, of $120 and then I don't pay for it monthly. Now they do have a monthly option if you would prefer to go that route. Um, but I do think it uh, ends up costing you more. Um, so like I said, I just go ahead and I pay the 120 one time and that's for the entire year. Okay. So it's not, it's actually not that bad. Okay. As far as, um, pricing, let's go to the monthly option. So, uh oh, so if you go to, let me go back. So if you go to the monthly option, it's $13 a month. So let me pull up my calculator. 13 times 12 is $156. So if you pay for the monthly option, you actually end up paying $36 more than if you just paid for the 120 up front. So you get a little bit of a discount, okay? Um, so that's the pricing. Like I said, I will leave a link down below for you guys to go ahead and get that 45-day free trial if you want to try out Canva Pro. Um, but basically what I'm doing today is I'm going to show you guys how to design a t-shirt. I did design a t-shirt for my son, uh, for me to wear at his baseball games. And a lot of people are asking me to show them how to you how to design that in Canva pro. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to go up here to create a design and I'm going to go down to custom size. Um, I want to put this on 13 by 19, just because I want, uh, most printers, the biggest they go that we crafters use is 13 by 19. Okay, so I want my canvas to be 13 by 19. That way, if I want to make it a large image, the resolution does not get messed up if I go to make it bigger. So you want to start big that way. If you need to make it smaller, you can. Making an image smaller doesn't mess up the resolution. Making the image bigger does. So when you're designing, you want to start off on a bigger image and then scale down as you need, as needed. So we're gonna go, we switch this from pixels to inches and we are gonna go 13 by 19 and create new design. 
All right, so this white box here, which is our artboard, this is 13 by 19 inches, okay? And it says it right up here, 13 by 19. All right, so basically what, I'm, what I do when I'm setting up an image is I start with the background and I kind of work back to front. So I need to start with the background, add in the images, and then just kind of, you know, go from there. So my son plays for a baseball team called the Barons. Their colors are black and red. So I decided that I wanted to go with a black and red kind of smoky background. So I went over here to the elements tab. Now this elements tab, you guys, literally has so many things. So here's my recently viewed. So they have Juneteenth images that you can download as PNGs. They have, you know, the Instagram, TikTok templates. Um, they just have so many different things. These are like little rose backgrounds. These are the smoky images I used before. This is a baseball image that they have in Canva Pro. Um, I'm going to use that to design something for my son as well. Um, these are like graduation stock photos that they have. I mean, YouTube icons. They literally, this is just stuff that I've recently used, but they have so many different elements that you can use, okay? You can literally go in here and search for, let me just search for Juneteenth because Juneteenth was the other day, yesterday, I believe. Look at all these different things. So they have photos, Juneteenth photos you can come in here and use. They have graphics that you could come in here. If you pay for the Canva Pro, already so if you paid the 120 dollars or the 13.99 a month and you have canva pro you can come in here and you can literally download this as a png image and you can make a shirt out of it free of charge well not free it's already included you know what i'm saying in your membership so i can download this as a png and go ahead and just put it on a shirt no problem the only thing you should be careful about is selling. Look into the licensing of the selling of t-shirts with these images on it. I don't sell my craft, so I'm not 100% sure, but definitely do your research, okay? But if you wanted to make a shirt for yourself, all you had to do is come in here, you guys, find an element that you want. You could put this on a shirt. If you wanted to add Juneteenth words up here, uh, free-ish since 1865 down here, boom, you got a whole, let me show y'all. Let me show y'all. We're gonna go to add text, June teen. You can make this a different color. So look at look up here at this top tab, it says document colors, okay? So this document colors tab is so, so convenient. So the document colors is all the colors that's in this picture. We got black, red, yellow, and the green. So if I want Juneteenth to be the same color yellow as this yellow, instead of trying to guess or use my dropper or my color picker or anything like that, it's already got the document colors that's in this document right up here at the top for me. I don't have to go searching for it. I don't have to do anything. The yellow is right here. Okay. The red is right here. I like that red better. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to duplicate this, and then I'm going to put at the bottom free-ish since 1865. And then you see how this is kind of gappy in between, this line spacing between free-ish and since. So we can go up here to spacing, line spacing, and you can make it wider or you can make it, you know, smaller. I'm gonna bring it a little bit more closer together. And I can actually scoop this up. And we can turn this one green. Boom, you have a whole t-shirt. You can print this out as a PNG image with a transparent background right now. You got you a t-shirt, okay? You will go up to share, download. You see where it says transparent background? You're gonna check that, file type PNG. So this is going to download, let me show you. This is going to download with no background. 
Do y'all see this? And I can go ahead and sublimate that onto a white t-shirt. Hello? Hello? <laughs> y'all, Canva's that girl. Okay, but anyways, I just wanted to show you how you can really just come in here and use the elements that's already within Canva to create a design. Like you can create from scratch or you can use their elements, their text, whatever you need. Canva's really that girl, been that girl. Okay, for anybody who's been on my channel for a while, y'all know that I started this whole channel with Canva. Okay, Canva has been that girl, baby. But anyways, let's go into designing the image that I made for my son. So I'm gonna go up to elements. And I'm just going to type in red smoke cloud. Okay. Now you got photos, videos, frames, all these different things that pop up, but I want a graphic. So I'm going to go to see all under graphics. And it's going to show me all of the little like smoke options that they have. Um, but I want something that's red. So I'm going to go with this one. Mm. actually I don't like these ones I'm gonna go to my recently used because I had the one the perfect one that I liked which was I believe it was this one okay and then I'm just gonna make it bigger but not too big to where it's kind of touching the edges and I'm just gonna kind of build off of this I don't think it was that one actually I think it was this one Okay, and then I was just kind of building off of this and then I was also using this black one as well. And I'm just kind of playing around with the black and the red until I kind of get, you know, a mixture of black and red that I like. Okay. So I like that. So this is my background, my black and red smoky background. All I did was add in this element, this element, and I played around with it until I got the variation that I wanted, okay? So next thing I'm gonna do is go to my uploads, which is all of the pictures that I've uploaded. Now you can upload from your phone, you can upload from an iPad, you can upload from your desktop, your laptop, whatever you have, wherever your pictures are, you can upload onto Canva from any of those platforms, okay? You can go, if you wanna use your computer, you just click upload file, and then it's gonna bring in whichever file you choose. Now I do already have his pictures here. So I'm going to add this picture in here. Now, as you can see, it does have a background and I want to get rid of that. Now, this is the smoke I do believe might've been a free element, but we need to remove the background on this image. That's gonna be a pro feature. But what we're gonna do is go up to edit photo and under tools right here where it says BG remover, that's the background remover. And I'm just gonna go ahead and click that and it's gonna remove the background for me. Okay, now we have no background, nice and clean. Now, also this image looks a little ashy to me, like, like up against this black, that this, you know, vibrant background, it looks a little faded, like ashy to me. So I kind of want to bring some color back into the photo. So I'm going to go back up to edit photo and up here at the top, I'm going to select adjust. Now, what I like to do is I start with auto adjust just to see what it does. Now, I don't know if you guys could tell, it did make the color more vibrant, okay? I'm gonna go back. And then I'm gonna hit auto adjust. Now watch the picture. When I hit auto adjust, it just makes the color a little bit more vibrant. 
And then this intensity here, you can go up or down, which makes the intensity of the auto adjusted settings that Canva picked out, you can make them darker or lighter. I'm gonna go darker just because like I said, I want this image to be bright, vibrant, you know? That looks good, so I'm just going to click away. Now it's nice and set. And I want this to kind of be like the main image here, so I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger. Okay, so when it comes to like pictures that are cut off like this, I don't like that look. Um, It's just like a hard line, a hard stop. So to kind of combat that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate some of these clouds, make them smaller, and I just want to add those there. It's just going to hide that hard stop. Okay. And now it kind of looks like he's within the clouds or within the smoke or whatever you want to call it. But it also kind of had highs that hard stop on the image. So you don't see it. It's more blended. It looks more natural. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and add in another image here. This is going to be an action shot of him pitching. Same thing. We're going to go up to edit photo and we're going to remove the background. Now this one, the color on this image doesn't need to necessarily be as vibrant just because it's, um, there we go. I was looking for this little Turner thing. I couldn't find it. So um, this color doesn't need to be as vibrant because we're going to fade it out anyway. And let me show you what I mean by that. So I kind of want this, like I said, this is going to be the main picture. This is kind of kind of going to be like a faded out image that's off in the background. Um, this is I like this here, but you see his glove is on top of his head. I don't want that either. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this image. We're going to go up to position and we're going to select backward. And as you can see, it put the glove behind his head, which is what I want. OK, now I'm going to fade this out just a little bit. So I'm going to again select the image that I want to work with. I'm going to go up here to transparency and we're going to take the transparency down just so that the background images look more faded. Okay. Now with this, again, we do have another hard stop here on the picture. I don't like that. So what I'm going to do is just kind of move this smoke up a little bit. And I want to bring the smoke towards the front. Okay. So right now the image is sitting on top of the smoke. I want the image to be behind the smoke. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on the smoke where it says layer. We're going to go bring to front. And I'm actually not going to, I don't want to bring it all the way to the front because I don't want it on top of this one. So I'm going to go back to layer and I'm going to go send backwards. And it's still on top. So I'm going to do it again. Send backward. I'm going to do it again until I don't see the smoke on top of this picture. Or really, I could just right click on this one. No, I don't want to bring that one to the front. So. As you can see, the smoke is still on top. I don't want that. I want it to be behind. So I'm going to hit layer, send backward. It's still there. Send backward. Send backward. You can use the, the um, shortcuts if you know them, but that one went ahead and it sent it backward. Okay. 
So now this smoke is behind that first picture and I'm just gonna kind of adjust it accordingly so that it fades out the picture without it kind of having that hard stop. Okay. I'm going to lighten this just a little bit more so we can, you know, make sure we see it nice and good. All right. So that, I like that. So that looks good. Now we're going to do this one more time with one more image. I'm going to use this one. Again, we're going to go to edit photo, background remover. And I want this one to be up here in this corner. And then I'm going to turn it just a little bit and I have to position this backward, backward. That looks good. And then I'm going to duplicate this smoke. Backward, backward, backward. And I'm just going to keep, keep hitting backward until it's no longer on the top image. So that looks good. And then I'm going to fade this one out just a little bit. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add in text. I'm going to add in his last name, which is Thomas. I'm going to do all caps because I want it to be, you know, big, bold, relevant. You can see it. And I'm gonna put it right across the bottom here. I'm gonna turn this black. Now I do wanna add, I wanna change the font. I'm gonna change the font to, I think it's called, I think it's a university font. Yep, so this is a university font. I did get this from thefont.com. You can upload fonts in here as well. If you get them from the font or Creative Fabric or whatever the case, you can go ahead and upload those here as well. Okay, now what I wanna do is I wanna add a white outline. So I'm gonna go up to effects. I'm gonna make sure that the text is highlighted. I'm gonna go up to effects and then I'm gonna select the outline effects. And then here where this um, kind of color box is, we're gonna select that and we can turn it white. Mm -mm. Sorry about that guys. Um, we can turn it white. Um, I think I want to do it black and let me see if the letters are white or red. And then you can adjust the thickness of, oh my gosh, sorry again. You can adjust the thickness of, you know, the outline. You can make it thinner or smaller. So I think I'm trying to decide what colors I want. I think I might do white letters with the black outline. I'll just leave that there for now. Um, but you can just play with it how you want. And then the last thing I'm going to do, no, nope, I'm going to add in his number. So I'm going to duplicate that and basically just add his number, number 11. Mm -hmm. No, I don't like that. I wanted it to be different. So I want this one to be red. 
and maybe the outline white. Let me see. Maybe I should do black. Yeah, the black looks better. Or maybe I should do this white. I don't know. Well, whatever. You could just play play around with it. But you see like all the different options that you have. Okay. So the last thing that I like to do, which is a little extra, but I don't particularly care. I like it. Um, is I kind of like to go in and add this little star here. So let me get the, this is the actual name. If you click on the three dots, it's the shining star, white star. Um, and all I do is kind of just click on that, resize it, and you can just kind of place these wherever. And you, make sure you bring them to the front as well. And then I just hit the duplicate button and you can just kind of place them wherever, you know, wherever you want to see them at. I just think it gives the shirt kind of a nice little touch. But that's really all I have for this image. Um, I mean, de designing this image is not necessarily hard. You just got to play around with the elements, see what you like and what you don't like. Definitely go into the elements, um, use that search bar, just type in whatever you can think of, and then kind of, you know, pick your design out from there. I mean, Canva has so many, so many elements so many things that you can literally pick and choose and scroll through they got backgrounds they got I mean the design options are really endless when it comes to Canva you just kind of have to play around with your search terms and just really find what you're looking for um hopefully this was helpful uh hopefully I answered some questions for everybody but that is all I have for this video guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to like share subscribe all that good stuff until next time, bye guys.